Hi everyone, in this short demo I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual whiteboard using nothing more than PowerPoint and a Wacom tablet. By the end of this video you'll be able to handwrite, draw, you'll be able to create charts and graphs, you'll be able to highlight text, you'll be able to annotate photographs or other artwork, and you'll be able to create annotations on your original slide decks that you've already created for your lectures. In addition to this, you'll learn how you can create a vertical presentation so that your students can either print it out and three-hole punch and put it in their notebook, they can create various Cornell notes if you want to use it, or they can create their own blank template to do whatever kind of note-taking you want your students to do. So stay with me and take up just a few minutes to learn some great things that will help you in the classroom. So to begin with, I've actually set up a graphic on a PowerPoint presentation and I'm using Office 365, uh, which is available to everybody here, and I just create a new blank uh, PowerPoint presentation and I want to point out that I'm using the simplified ribbon. It's going to be the easiest way for me to do a uh, live handwritten uh, presentation for my students. And so with a Wacom pen I can actually uh, just come over here and select uh, the pen tool and I can adjust my thickness uh, to make it thick or thin. I can change my color. There's a standard black and I can just kind of come in here and uh, write in here. Sign my signature, whatever it is I want to do. Okay. Now what I can do now is I can select that and just delete it uh, and you'll notice that it grabs it like it's a graphic. And I tend to not want to write on the whiteboard with black, so I'm going to use this color here. It's a little simpler. And I can just go ahead and you'll get used to moving the Wacom tablet. So I can just go ahead and start writing. And my penmanship's terrible, so I would never do this. But, uh, you know, for those of you that are wanting to do drawings or uh, make some notations or uh, write a word, I can do it with the ease of a pen. I'm able to actually select the shapes and delete them if I want to. So let's pretend I've done a lot of writing and I want to erase my whiteboard. The easiest way to erase is to go ahead and select the erase tool and I can just grab my mouse and go across the page and it'll clear my whiteboard. The other thing I want to pay attention to is let's say I did some graphics on here. I used a couple different colors uh, and maybe I was doing a uh, just a graphic on top. If I go to my arrow key to select, it will select each stroke that I made independently. So I could actually break that apart piece by piece. And that might be of use to you as well. The other thing I can do with the arrow key is I can just click and drag this whole area and select everything at once and delete. So I have a couple of ways to select and delete and clear my whiteboard. I can either use the arrow key, uh, which is the selection tool, uh, or I can use the eraser and just race like I would on a, on a regular whiteboard. So in this situation, I've actually loaded a uh, graph on here because I'm never going to be able to draw those straight lines uh, effectively with my Wacom pen. But what I can do now is I can just come in here and uh, draw that slope of that curve or maybe I'm doing the classic, uh, you know, maybe I'm trying to remember my algebra and doing y equals mx plus b. Not the best drawing, of course. Uh, and so I've got a couple different graph tables. Uh, when I'm teaching densitometry and photography, I need something that I can just mark up over a different uh, range. And then I could actually show how I might connect that with a different color. 
and draw that chart as well. So I've got a lot of options here. The other thing I want to show you is if I jump down here, maybe I have a text or a printout that I've scanned and I want to be able to highlight some details while I'm giving a presentation. So I can actually use the highlighter tool and I can literally uh, say highlight this part of the text and you'll notice the highlighter allows the text to still show through. So maybe I'm going to go in and pick out some key text passages. Uh, I could also do this with say a student example that this has been submitted and I want to pull it up and annotate it in PowerPoint. I can do that very easily. Um, so I can use the highlighter tool. I can also just quickly grab and, and highlight on a, on a photo and talk about an S curve. Maybe I want to go back and talk about uh, the, the triangles that exist within this landscape. Uh, any number of ways I can draw on that. And for those of you that have been thrust into teaching online from a uh, lecture-based course and you've got your prepared slide deck, you know, you might go ahead and come in and use your highlight tool uh, just on your existing PowerPoint. Uh, and maybe I'm going to come over here and highlight using this blue uh, pen. Well, actually, I can come over here and use the highlighter and I can change the color of it if I want to. And I can just kind of circle that around and say, look at the circle and the wholeness of this composition, etc. So I have lots and lots of choices very, very easily uh, in using PowerPoint. So I couldn't resist this because we've all seen it. Uh, we're going to do a little, little uh, work on art history here and pretend uh, that we're drawing on the Mona Lisa. So I want you to notice that this whiteboard is not a graphic sitting on top of my PowerPoint. I'm not going to accidentally move it. It literally is uh, built into the background of this image. And to show you how I did that is I went to Google and I did a search for whiteboard. I used my search tools to make sure I could find something that was labeled for reuse. And then I uh, looked for a large file size and I came up with this image right here. And so I saved that to my desktop. Uh, I did a little bit of modification to add a little white uh, around it, but I'm going to provide you this if you want it. Uh, you can actually uh, download the PowerPoint with it already in there for you. Uh, but what I did is then I came into here in my background and picture from file and I chose my whiteboard background image so you can see I added a little white around it uh, so it would fill the frame a little bit better for me. And hit insert. And there it is. And so what I can do now is before a class presentation I will come up and duplicate this page a number of times control D or uh, on a Mac is command D and I will just duplicate that page to get it ready for my presentation so that I can now just click on my draw tools and I am ready to go with whatever drawing I'm going to do for that class. So I find this really helpful. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that you can change your orientation and in this case I've looked at how can I encourage my students to take notes in a format that might be easy for them or can I provide some notes that are easier for them or teach note taking and so here is a image I found online of line sheet of paper I could have taken my own photo with my smartphone to do that and then embedded that in the back so I can take an image of notebook paper and embed that into the background uh, I can find some Cornell note templates that would allow uh, me to take some notes here and just uh, say this is about whiteboard uh, with PowerPoint and over here is you know uh, virtual classroom might be the, the concept here 
So I have a lot of different options here. I tend to like to just a very simple note uh, uh, note taking uh, template as well. Uh, but like I said, I will make these files available to you so that you can either make them available for your students or you can use them for yourself. I think it's kind of nice to be able to uh, come in here and uh, uh, do some handwritten uh, notes. and be able to you know do my chicken scratch all the way down and now I have the ability to export this as a PDF document and so I can go ahead and download that as a PDF and upload it uh, to my canvas shell or my students could upload their notes uh, to the canvas shell as well so it would really make it for those that want to work with handwriting this could be a really useful tool and the same for uh, any presentation I make you know I can go ahead and just download this as a PDF to make a vertical PowerPoint that is easy for your students to be able to print it out, three-hole punch it, and put it into a class notebook, all you need to do is this. We're going to start with a new blank presentation. And again, I'm using the Office 365, so there's a little more uh, simplified interface than uh, what you would have with a desktop app or a different interface than what you'd have with an iPad or a Surface. You'll have a little bit more feature set available to you in those platforms, but I like the simplicity of the, the Office 365. So uh, here we are. We are in our uh, layout, and we're going to go to Design and we're going to slide size and we're going to go to a custom slide size and we're going to portrait mode and I'm just going to make this a eight and a half by eleven and I tend to just do the maximize and I'll go back to my design and I'll go to the background and picture from file go back to my aligned paper And now I'm ready to duplicate that very quickly and I can go ahead and I'm ready to take my notes graphically in PowerPoint. So there you have it, a simple way to use PowerPoint, which we all have access to, a Wacom tablet, or I will also include uh, some notes on some advanced pen tool techniques that for those of you that are working with either an iPad or a Microsoft Surface tablet computer, you actually have some additional features available to you that would be able to take my terrible drawings and make them into standard geometric shapes, and it would even be able to convert your uh, handwriting into a text, printed text uh, that's typed out. So uh, if you have a tablet version and you're running that, you've got some more features available to you. Uh, thanks so much. If you need any help, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll leave my email in the uh, video notes, and I look forward to having a great quarter with you all. Take care.